I'm going to allow for a Q&A. David Alvarez is hitting the campaign trail hard. It's 10 on a Saturday morning, but it's already Alvarez's third stop. He's at the La Jolla Country Day School, sharing his story. I was the first one in my family to graduate from high school and go to college, actually the only one to do that. The 33-year-old from Barrio Logan talks frankly about the culture clash of being a first-generation immigrant and the toll it took on his family, particularly older brothers caught up in the maelstrom of the war on drugs. My siblings, because of that culture clash, I believe, had to find some way to fit in. And oftentimes the only way to fit in in that neighborhood was to uh, be part of, of, of some of the youth gang activity that was going on. He says now his brothers have made good. They work on the shipyards, provide for their families. But it is Alvarez's story of growing up in low-income, mostly Latino Barrio Logan, and then making it to college, let alone through high school, and then eventually to a seat on city council that has a clear impact on some in the crowd, like Eddie Baca. What an inspirational story. It was great to hear oh, that thank personally you. from me. Thank and you. especially to see somebody was, from uh, our neck of the woods. Yeah. You know, we were there when... Vargas was first starting. Right. My mom worked the on 90s, campaign for right? him. Exactly. Yeah. But anyway, I would like to get involved in supporting you. Okay. So where do I begin? One place it begins is at Alvarez's campaign headquarters on Claremont Mesa Boulevard. Here, campaign volunteers cold call, trying to get out the vote. And Alvarez stops by to do his part. This is David Alvarez. I'm a council member from San Diego. And I'm running for mayor of San Diego. Alvarez's beginnings as a kid from the barrio is key to his appeal and getting out the south of eight vote. Immigrants, African Americans, and progressives, their votes can make or break his chance of winning, according to UCSD political scientist Steve Erie. But in terms of the rocket to stardom, the very short tenure, the lightning speed, and seizing the moment when many people thought it wasn't his turn. It was too early, and he was only doing it for northern and southern exposure. His exposure goes far beyond the far edges of San Diego these days. Erie says as a young progressive backed by a lot of union money, Alvarez may be the future of San Diego politics, but... The question is, can organized labor get out the vote? The minority vote, the youth vote, the vote of the disaffected, in other words, the Filner Coalition, including students. Organized labor, especially the San Diego and Imperial Counties Labor Council, have rallied around Alvarez in this election, putting aside past tensions to go all in on the candidate. The reason, according to UFCW President Mickey Kasparian, is that progressives got their hearts broken by the phenomenal failures of Bob Filner. Now, they want to find somebody to carry on the progressive legacy, and they see Alvarez as the right man for the job. But political scientist Steve Erie says in the past, Alvarez has never really been labor or anybody's guy. And he was willing, right, to buck labor. You know, there's a real independent streak. Now, but the other thing is, in terms of the labor council, you know, there were those who wanted, right, the endorsement for Nathan Fletcher. Those like Lorena Gonzalez, the face of labor here, before ascending to the state Senate. She's supporting newly minted Democrat Nathan Fletcher. So even among Democrats, Erie says, there's something of a house divided. As for Alvarez, he doesn't see himself as picking up Filner's torch. He says he was already holding it. That mantra of neighborhoods first was something that I carried. You look at the votes that I've taken, that was the mantra that I had. And then it was adopted by, by Filner. Um, and then now everybody's talking about it. As for any concerns that labor money might sully Alvarez's hard-sought reputation as a grassroots independent, he says he made a pledge to himself. That pledge was that I would not change who I was, that I would be able to go to sleep at night knowing that decisions I made were the best decisions based on the information that I had and that I wasn't going to change the, the, the character, uh, my character, for anything or anyone. He says if elected, even with money from the Labor Council, he'll still feel free to disagree with them. After we talk, Alvarez brings in his sleeping daughter from the car. It's her bedtime. For the councilman, there's yet another campaign event. Sandia Dirks, KPBS News.